Greetings, Internet marketers. Welcome to another episode from How to Webmaster. Today, I will be comparing KeywordTool.io and also against Longtail Pro. First, let's take a look at Longtail Pro. And in this example here, I've searched for the keyword WordPress. And I've also filtered it out to show me the search volume that are over a thousand keyword monthly search volume. And over here is the average keyword competition. And this is pretty much the main feature with Longtail Pro. It tells you the competitiveness of this keyword if you were trying to rank for it from zero to 100. Zero being easy and 100 being impossible to rank for on the first page of Google. And you can organize this from lowest to highest. That's what I'm doing now. And you can see pretty much anything under 50 potentially is okay to rank for or not bad or have a good potential to rank for. Now let's check out KeywordTool.io and the keyword is the same thing for WordPress and what I like about KeywordTool.io is it gives you this nice big graphical chart showing you the trend for the past 12 months because you don't want to make a new website or target something that is going downhill you want something that's pretty stable or going up KeywordTool.io will give you more keyword search results and it gives you also the search volume, the trend, the cost per click, which is similar to Longtail Pro. But the only thing that I don't like is the competition score. This isn't the same as what you see at Longtail Pro. This competition score is pay-per-click advertisers competition. Whereas in Longtail Pro, they give you an actual keyword competition score for organic ranking. And over here at KeywordTool.io, this competition score is for advertisers, paying advertisers. So it's not really relevant to bloggers or website wanting to rank their keywords organically, naturally at the search engines. So this score over here is not very good to look at, in my opinion. But KeywordTool.io has keyword search data for YouTube, Bing, Amazon, and all these other search engines or sites right here, which you don't get from Longtail Pro. Now let's take a look at some prices. KeywordTool.io is definitely not cheap. Here's the monthly price for the cheapest version or the cheapest plan is Pro Basic, $89 a month, 7,000 keywords per day. Now let's head over to Longtail Pro, the monthly price. Normally it's $37 a month, now it's only $25.90, but it only gives you 800 keywords lookup per day. And for most users, that's pretty much good enough. If you want a little bit more, here's the next upgraded version, it's $47 for 2,500 keyword searches per day. So Longtail Pro has a cheaper price to get started with, even with less keyword lookups. But if you're looking for micro niche keywords to target and, and try to get top rankings for, Longtail Pro will give you the actual keyword competition score for natural and organic rankings, whereas KeywordTool.io does not give you that score. KeywordTool.io is mostly, I think, for agencies that deals with a lot of keyword searches. So if you're a lone wolf affiliate marketer or affiliate blogger and you don't have a whole bunch of websites, you're not an agency, then Longtail Pro is probably a better deal. So overall, I think Longtail Pro is a better buy. KeywordTool.io, I don't think it's that useful for me for finding micro niche keywords and assessing their competitiveness. So anyhow, Longtail Pro is the winner in my opinion. Go check it out and see for yourself. There is a seven day free trial. Again, I'll leave the link down below. And also at KeywordTool.io, you can actually use it for free and get very, very limited search results, only five keywords. And at least you can see how it works. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks so much for viewing. I hope this helps. Be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews on other internet marketing tools. Thanks again, and until next time, happy marketing.